Campers at a popular summer spot will not be allowed to build a fire. No campfires allowed, and it may be a sign of a summer to come. Mountain Newsroom reporter Matt Crochel live from Tenderfoot Mountain tonight near Keystone. And Matt, just too dry to take any chances. And Karen, it's actually popular with a lot of people who can't find affordable housing up here during the summer, so they head out into the woods to camp and work up here in the high country, but no fires for them. The sheriff tells me this ban comes along with a zero tolerance policy. You never be bored up here. This time of year, you can often find Lauren Drogsvold out exploring her big backyard. I think for most people that live up here, it's all about what you do, right? And I like to snowboard, I like to hike, I like to trail run and mountain bike, and this is kind of my playground. She's very aware of the danger this fire season brings. Growing up in Boulder, I've come across a lot of unattended campfires, and I know that those tend to start some really big fires. She stumbled across this fire left burning with no one around. After putting out the flame, she posted about it on a community Facebook page, and that got a lot of people talking. But we've had the driest winter that I can remember. Um, you know, we can't make up for the lack of rain and snow that we got, but what we can do is try to minimize the fire danger um, from ourselves. The new ban on fires from Dillon to Keystone, just the latest signal of what a lot of people like Lauren fear is coming. I don't want to see, you know, the devastating potential come real. The sheriff telling us that later this week, a special crew they just hired for this season in particular will head out into the high country here in Summit County on patrol looking for unattended wildfires and for fires that have been set by people in campsites. We are live tonight in Summit County. Matt Croshill covering Colorado First.